The sweetest place on earth could get a whole lot sweeter here in the next 10 years. Hershey Park has spent well over $300 million on bringing us some of the best roller coasters and attractions in the entire world. In 2020, they brought us Chocolate Town USA. This included Candemonium, all new shops, and a whole new front facelift. We asked for an RMC and we got one. The all new steel hybrid coaster, Wildcats Revenge, making Hershey Park one of the most sought after parks to visit in the 2023 season. Hershey Park is now a true destination park offering something for everyone. Which brings us to the next 10 years. What could we see happen in the next 10 years for Hershey Park? Well, I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm going to go over some of the different attractions that I could see Hershey Park adding, some of the infrastructure that Hershey Park really needs to address, some of the rides that I could see them possibly getting rid of. So we're going to start off with the 2024 season. And Hershey Park already announced with the Philadelphia Toboggan Company that they are adding new trains to the Comet. I think this is wonderful. I think they're going to look great. But I also see some other hidden gems being added as well. I see them adding a loading and unloading station, redoing the current loading station, and then reconfiguring where there used to be an unloading station so I could see that happening that would be pretty cool it would make things go a lot smoother operations have always been Hershey Park's downside they have had terrible operations mostly to do with some of the rides and their age so this would really help things out also for the 2024 season maybe 2025 season now that we know this about Comet, Lightning Racer. It's been rumored to me by a couple of sources that possibly GCI is going to be doing a retrack on Lightning Racer. This thing very rarely duels anymore and it's kind of sad because this used to be one of the premier dueling coasters in America. I mean, there's not too many of these racing coasters out there. So if they can just kind of get this thing up to speed, definitely the lightning side is always slower than thunder. And so it's been rumored to me that certain sections were possibly going to get the Titan track from GCI. So that, that would be pretty cool. I could also potentially see Hershey Park maybe adding a small flat ride for the kids for the 2024 season but who knows i think it's going to be one of those years where they basically focus on cleaning up some of the older rides maintaining them and things of that nature but for 2025 i think title force is done i don't know we'll see but this thing's been on its last leg for a few years now and parts are becoming very hard to find for this thing. So Hershey Park's been able to do what they can to keep this thing running. But how about a mock power splash coaster? Now mock makes a bunch of different water coasters. I particularly think the best fit for Hershey Park would be the power splash one where it has a launch system, but who knows? You know, some of those launching ones are not as reliable, so they might choose to go with something like this. This one here is located at SeaWorld San Antonio, and it basically pivots and then goes for the descent down into the water. But there's a bunch of different styles, and honestly, who knows, they could pick any of them, and any of them would work very well. So the Wild Mouse has been on the chopping block for quite some time. I would say the last five years Hershey Park's been looking to unload this thing, having it listed for sale, different things like that. I don't foresee them getting rid of this until like maybe 2026 and 
I know some people have suggested they could see a wild moose there and I just don't see that happening for the simple reason you're not going to have two RMC coasters right next to each other although very different still pretty similar I'm not saying Hershey Park wouldn't entertain the idea of having a wild moose I just could see it possibly being at the front maybe in some undeveloped area by Candemonium. The reason I think they'll get rid of the wild mouse, however, is because I think they'll look to expand the water park even further. So I'm just gonna name a few flat rides that I could see Hershey Park potentially adding in the near future. This here is Pipe Scream, located at Cedar Point, and it is a phenomenal flat ride. Some would classify it as a roller coaster, I however do not, but definitely offers a very thrilling experience. This here is Skyhawk. It's located at Canada's Wonderland and it's a Gerslauer. It offers a very unique experience and you are able to actually flip these things up in the air. I think that Hershey Park would really benefit from a ride like this. They don't really have anything other than a drop tower that's really thrilling. So one of the rides that I can see most likely to end up at Hershey Park would be one of these SNS Scream and Swings. They have proven themselves to be very reliable and I just think it'd be an awesome fit right by Candemonium looking over that little wall. So one of these areas in which I could see Hershey Park developing in the very near future, I'm talking like next two, three years. I think right over here by Candemonium, there's that little area that could possibly house about two flat rides in there, maybe a smaller coaster. There's also some undeveloped land back behind Candemonium. And I don't think it would be impossible to think that Hershey Park couldn't make some walkways or pathways back there and maybe add another coaster. One of the type of coasters that I do not see Hershey Park adding, these have become very popular as of late with a lot of parks, they're cheap, but capacity would be a major issue. One of these 4D free spin coasters built by SNS, they're very cool, they offer a cool experience, but man, they have a lot of trouble, they break down a lot, and Boy, the lines on those things are so long, it's ridiculous. So what's the next type of coaster I could see Hershey Park adding? Well, to me, I feel like Hershey Park is in need of a family launch coaster. I know this one doesn't look very appealing, but I assure you it is a pretty fun little ride. Definitely a good experience. You get to go around twice. This is Snoopy's Racing Railway. It was manufactured by ART Engineering and it's a small family launch coaster. So I think what we really need to keep our eyes on is Skyrush. If Skyrush gets the Pantheon style trains like I've been hearing about, then we'll know that Hershey Park has a decent relationship with Intamin. As of right now, I don't think they really do. Of course, this is all speculation. I have no idea if they're gonna do anything with the trains or not. It's just all rumor from what I'm hearing. But right here is Wave Breaker, located at SeaWorld San Antonio. And I could really see Hershey Park adding something similar to this. It doesn't even have to be Intamin, but the tire launch system is a much more cost-effective way to build a launch coaster and have it be affordable and easy to maintain. As far as larger coasters in the future, I could honestly see Hershey Park adding a tilt coaster. Right now, there is no tilt coasters in the entire United States. There's one being built over at Coda Land, which is in Texas and I could honestly see Hershey Park waiting it out, seeing how this goes for Coda Land. And with Dorney Park adding a dive coaster set to open in 2024, 
this would be a great addition to compete with them. So who knows, but I just think it would be a great fit for Hershey Park. So if you look at Hershey Park in the next five to 10 years and ask yourself, do you feel like the old arena is gonna be around? My answer is no. I don't see them doing much with this. I don't even see them really repurposing this building. Uh, I just see them tearing it down and possibly adding some more rides there because they're running out of real estate here. And honestly, they don't use that thing for much. But that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to comment below and let me know what you guys think. Thanks.